Pretty short vid because it's an example, not a takedown or a debunking. You can't debunk faith because faith is based on always knowing subconsciously that what you're talking about literally doesn't have a basis from reality. That's why it's called faith. But that also means that you don't have a, a basis for yelling at someone else for not agreeing with you. And that's not okay for some people. Saying there's going to be an earthquake in California and another hurricane in Florida and another YouTube video where I really suck isn't prophetic. Without giving a specific times and dates that can be falsified, you're avoiding falsification, aka critique, and you're making sure you cannot be evaluated. Now, this is not an Occam's razor to prove that someone is a decent prophet. We have Dutch in sense ignoring that he's simply wrong on a regular basis about his earthquake and other hypotheses. See also the Logan Runnin channel. I'll try to find which one of them it is this week before YouTube tears it down. We actually get him evaluating how you should look at all of the earthquake maps. And just like anybody else studying them, you look for trends and see if you're right. But no, we have to say every year that there's a Florida hurricane, it was punishment from God or harp or whatever we want to propel everybody forward with. And it doesn't matter if it's factual. People don't give a shit about facts. Don't believe me? Wait for the comment section. <clears throat> a guy named, it doesn't matter, his name's Frank. He runs a channel that's got some vague reference to a religion. In this case, it says a midnight cry or a midnight cry or it's a midnight cry. And it's supposed to be a very vague or obscure reference to some line somewhere in some book, some place or other. Maybe a poem. He joined in 2018, October 8th, and has 3,000 subscribers. Now, he's a perfect example of this. No, I'm not doing a takedown of his videos, because again, it's faith-based. Faith-based everything. Hey, uh, you want to drive that faith... I want all of you to live in a faith-based building. That should fix everything. 3,000 subscribers. But out of his channels, 147,000 views. 101,000 of them were just from three videos. And he's going to keep doing that. Whatever magical formula he stumbled on to get the answer right that would get a reaction, cold reading his audience, market research, probing, Ouch. trolling and getting a response, triggering people, all these other words, making people respond to you like me doing this video or someone else asking me to do a video on it. Those three videos, uh, three weeks ago got him 56,000 views, two weeks ago it was only 27,000 views, max. He's dropping already. And then a week ago, 21,000 views. So he's gonna hover at the 20,000 to 15,000 views per video eventually if he keeps harping on this. <laughs> All three of them were about earthquakes being God's punishment or something thereof, a sign of the end times, which you have to keep flagellating people, whipping them up, spanking them, so that you can keep getting views about the end is coming and him claiming to be a prophet instead of this need to self-aggrandize filters out any religious people who also say things like you shouldn't be a date setter. They can filter out a bunch of people who won't follow him religiously like a cult. Cults are done for profit, not by profits. <clears throat> it's all the punishment from God, a sign of the end times. And I'm a prophet because, just like the rest of them, he's peddling himself for self-righteous revenge fantasy validation for people who get nothing in return for their obedience to people who claim to speak for a God. The preacher standing up there is not God. He is not quoting God. He doesn't know what God said because he didn't hear any voices. And the people who heard the voices originally were probably mentally ill, but okay. And if you read your book, Bible, Talmud, Quran, it always has a couple of basic warnings. Warning, any prophet that claims to speak for God is lying. Number two, immediately contradicting themselves. Number three, all of these contradictions in hundreds of different ways means that any one thing you said will be contradicted in another part. Next, take everything out of quote, quote out of context. 
This is all part of the design. The whole point of the scam is to collect people in the pews, get the money out of them. You always notice that it's always based on some sort of for-profit profiteering by a prophet who's a fake. Now, it doesn't matter what it, 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 I'm, I'm, I've archived this channel to snapshot it so you know why I'm saying the numbers and stuff. That's all it's good for. No, you shouldn't bother them or even pay attention to them. Just like every other wannabe profiteering prophet, false profiteer, all of them are based on the same concept. Weeding out, chaffing and winnowing, anybody who won't follow them and ignoring them and moving on a lot like certain politicians do that's about it it's just an object lesson not him specifically just them in general thanks for watching have a good day good luck with that and don't take any wooden realities